the 2D character system. Say goodbye to programmer art. The 2D character system contains a base character. The base character has animations like idle, walk, run and jump, suitable for 2D games. We can also dress our character. He can be a barbarian, a warrior, a ninja, and we can add headwear and haircuts to match. Let's make a ninja with a ninja hood and change his body to a warrior. Or how about we make a spaceman with a helmet? And we can animate this character in the same way as the base, all of the layers working together. We can also add weapons to our character. Let's give our spaceman a ray gun. And we can mix and match weapons in the same way as we did with clothing. We can slash and stab with our ninja swords. And we can mix barbarians with axes. Or maybe a sword and animate again in the same way. Here we have a space Elvis but we're not happy with the colour. So let's use the shader to adjust it. We can use hue, saturation and overall value or brightness to adjust what the character looks like. And we can apply this to any of the sprites. Let's make a zombie ninja. So we can adjust the hue to find the colour we want. Let's try a kind of blue zombie. The colour's not bright enough, so let's also saturate it. And adjust the brightness. If we're not happy with that, maybe we'll try a green zombie. Let's make further adjustments. Yeah, now that looks like a zombie ninja. So far, we've been looking at the dynamic character, which is ideal for rapid prototyping. But if we really want to optimize the performance, we can use the character baker. Here we choose the parts of the character we're interested in. For example, the ninja clothes, the ninja sword, and let's adjust the color to make our zombie. Oh, my unity's lagging a little, bear with me. Hmm, what colour to make the zombie? Shall we go for green again? Let's do it. Maybe a slight adjustment. Now that we're happy with what we want, or what we've got, we can bake our character into a single sprite. Let's give it a name. We can optionally give it a packing tag if we own Unity Pro to further compress the data. For now, let's not. Click Bake. We'll get a warning. Baking can take about 5 to 10 minutes. Are we sure we want to do it? Of course we are. Now that our character's finished baking, we can see in the custom characters directory we've created automatically a whole bunch of sprites which are baked according to our settings. We've also automatically created all the animations and an animation controller override so we can play them. Let's open the test simple character scene. It allows us to test this by simply dragging the controller into the controller box. Now we can hit play and our baked character is ready for testing. Obviously we can't change the clothing because the character is baked, but we can animate it just like the dynamic character. Of course, we've now saved a significant amount of texture RAM. Thanks for watching. The 2D character system should be available on the Unity Asset Store 
in March. Cheerio!